right, so uh, we chased the guy across some rooftops. He got away because we chose to save our partner. Uh, we also ran across some streets as the girl, and sh and we ended up last night in the serial not, not, well, not a serial killer's house. I'm thinking of Heavy Rain and the creepy Russian dude's house who tried to delete our memory. He deleted our memory. We got it back, and we rescued the girl, and he's apparently dead now. And we're going somewhere else with the Marcus. What was what was that one character's <coughs> character's name? Thank you for all the bits you guys are throwing out too. Thank you. Well, I tried getting endings like I'm not gonna try to get all the endings. I'm this is not the same as Nier, where I have to like play the game three times in a row. I'm only gonna be doing a sin video on what very specific stuff I get personally. All right. Like I mentioned last night, I think this is the first time an Umbrella has ever been appeared in a David Cage game. He doesn't like Umbrellas, and he likes his characters to get wet. I don't know why, he thinks it's really moody. But notice how we're holding an Umbrella, but we don't use it. Kind of defeating the point of carrying an Umbrella. I need to go press this button again to see if it does anything special. Does the bingo game still exist? Uh, it's pretty easy to play uh, David Cage bingo. If you know David Cage, you know what stuff appears in his games. That's the wrong hand. Wrong hand. <gasps> the shock button. <laughs> That's like a jump scare button. That's all it does. It never does anything, but it just shocks him when he touches it. Yeah, Amanda's over there. Yeah, I know there's risk uh, making YouTube a full-time thing, but there's risk in any job when you go self-employed. It's just I'm really kind of tired of my my job I've had for a couple of years now. I just want to move on from it and do what I love doing. And what I love doing is entertaining people. It's pretty much been my dream to entertain people as, even as a kid. When I, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a writer, but that didn't really pan out. all the way over there. Make a pa I've considered making a Patreon. I've been holding off doing it for the time being, though. I might eventually make one. All right, he better use this umbrella during this cutscene that's about to happen, or else why have him hold it? Once again, the Hello, death of Bill is... Nope, not using it. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Uh, there we go. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Like I said, I might do a Patreon eventually. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Uh, deviants are completely irrational which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? Sign on walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? Birds. Birds! It was fascinated by birds. Man after my You've own seen taste. You've deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? How's your boyfriend? Saving Hank. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation. What do you think that thing is she wears on her neck? I won't disappoint Those you. bunch of squares. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. 
It looks like the kind of thing kindergartners would make as arts and crafts. Kind of like how they make they would screw up making a paper snowflake. It looks like that's what she's wearing as a necklace. Like my grandson made this for me. Paper mache. Terrible. Yeah, future always has terrible fashion. You've noticed subtle references to Heavy Rain? Um, how about all the rain? It's constantly raining. This game is actually almost a sequel to Heavy Rain. It even has... Think about it, actually. This game is very... This game isn't a sequel to Heavy Rain, but it follows the same plot beat. You have the detective who has, like, investigation scenes and has a surly partner he has to work with. You have the person who has, you know, issues with family and kids and has to focus on that. Then you have the other character who may or may not be a villain, or becoming a villain. So, he's like, David Cage is like, I will remake Heavy Rain, and this time, I should do it right. Ah. Heavy snow. It will be raining constantly, but no one drowning this time. Oh, uh -huh. I need to put a oh, whenever I say David, whenever I try to do a David Cage accent, because that's all the French accent I can do. We got some stuff we can look at. Oh, the short-haired brunette is in every one of his games. Oh, it's a pupper. A woofer. David Cage is Libyan? I thought it was French. Okay, what do we got in here? Yeah, Connor is a living in... Connor is the, the FBI glasses from Heavy Rain turned into a human. I'm not learning much from this. Technically, this game was concepted before Heavy Rain, if I'm not mistaken. It was started... This game originally was just a tech demo, or at least the, the Kara character was, but... Apparently, David Cage really liked it so much he decided to make a full game out of it. Yeah, I won't be able to go across the street, will I? Let's look around the back before we go in and find Lieutenant Anderson inside. We are just a creeper right now. Looking through people's windows. Oh. Huh. Lieutenant Anderson! No, I don't want to break that. I guess his door is locked. Oh <laughs> well, I won't even bother checking. Uh, Heavy Rain, I feel, is David Cage's weakest game. Connor's companion is from Starship Troopers. Just finished watching the last stream videos. Hmm. Thank you for watching the videos, though. I'm sure he won't mind if I do this. Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Oh, that is a really well rendered St. Bernard. I am in love. That's the best character in this game so far. You usually don't see that much detail put into the dog's face in a game. Okay, he's obviously just drunk and perfectly fine. Hiya, Dart and Chat. I hope you are all staying cool. Well, it's the temperature. Not exactly pleasant where I'm at, but the chat is cool as ever. But welcome back, Scott Skitherin. Pet the dog. Pet it. You pet that dog. You have to have a petting program. I wouldn't... You haven't seen uh, Metro Last Light's boober rendering technology if you think Heavy Rain has better. He passed out with a gun and booze. It won't, let me, it won't let me snoop. It won't let me leave the kitchen, actually. 
Say if I try to leave the kitchen, I get the red bar of chick on Hank. Black lamb. Scottish whiskey. 40% alcohol content. God damn. Trying to kill yourself, dude? 357 Magnum, one bullet remaining. Oh, we got a suicidal detective on our hands. Traces of alcohol. Uber ending technology is not a thing. Yes, it is. It is most certainly a thing. And Metro Last Light has it. It's called Tesselization and NVIDIA Phys X. Slight arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. Lieutenant! <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant! Back in heart. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Me alone, this may be unfair. Fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. you Want to know how to quit you, Hank? Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Lift. Hey. Take Hank to the bathroom. Shut up! Attack! <laughs> Attack! <clears throat> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Throw him in the shower. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. Who, who actually writes sticky notes like that to themselves? I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Strip him. Strip him naked first. It's for your own good. You know, you really shouldn't do this to someone who's drunk. Turn it off! Turn it off! Thank you, Mr. Kraps. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Yeah, I know Hank is the same actor as Krabs. We gotta tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the oh, case without us. Are we going to the sex club finally in a David you know, Cage game? Probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Hey, TB Hunter. In the bedroom there. Have we mentioned sex club and he's I'll already perked there. up? Oh, David, why are you so predictable? All right, bring Hank clean clothes. Let's read these notes. Shaving or not? I'm not grumpy. I just don't like you. Today. I'll be fabulous. Keep smiling. Can we mirror print here? No, we cannot. All right. You better, you guys better go get your hand lotion and, and tissues because David Cage Sex Club is coming up next. I think there's like one of those in just about every game he makes. Besides the clothes in here, doesn't look like it. What do you want to wear? Whatever. 
Hippy, strippy, or streaky. None of it looks good, but strippy. Or stripey. Oh, we went with stripey. Stripes always look good on a man. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Now, this is not an all guys chat. There's actually quite a few females who chat in here. Quite a few of the mods, too. President oh. Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. Okay. Learn more about... What's that? Learn more about Hank. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new... He likes jazz. Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Records. The specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Hank loves, we already know Hank loves jazz. Pet the dog. Finally. I'm surprised uh, the dogs don't get more upset over androids, since they would smell something's off. Oh, you're so good! Oh, camera, please. Please stop, camera. stuff I see is in the kitchen now. Question. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna let that go, huh? You're the only 63-year-old Twitch member? That would be a little bit outside of Twitch's range, and normally. I think Twitch is usually made up of like 15 to 30 year olds. But hey, it's cool with me. I don't care what your age is. All are welcome in the... Here. Shit, there's... I guess I've learned everything I can. Though it keeps pointing at something in here, though. There we go. Oh, he had a son. He had a son who was killed by an android. Deceased. Anderson Cole. Born 2029. Uh, died a few years later. Oh my god. They gave him the most generic cop backstory ever. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Bring the dog! Okay. So we didn't miss much. I guess we just gotta come through the door and see something else. Right. Next. To the sex club. Or someone else's section first. They're gonna build out the sex club. Oh no, it's Connor's section. Or Marcus's section, actually. This is crazy. 
they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Anything here to check? You know, I kind of wish they wouldn't have added this button to let you check around the environment, because I constantly make too much use of it. Looks like Gal Gadot. Yeah, the rain effects are nice, but they kind of have to be, since it's raining all the time in this game. Where's he going? Don't let them see us. I'm still waiting for a reference to the origami killer. Watch out! I said origami. I deliberately put an R in there. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Yeah, David likes the rain. He, th he thinks it's very dramatic. Instant way to, it's like instant it's like instant food for him. You just put it in a scene, instant that makes it more dramatic. Oh, it's pronounced origami, obviously. Origami? I don't think they pronounce that word one right correctly. At one time in that game, at all. It's always origami, origami. Origami killer! Marcus, climb up here! So much parkour. Making an awful lot of noise for some people sneaking around. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. You know, I think I've realized the thing that David Cage really doesn't seem to understand. It's that he doesn't know when to cut a scene. They always seem to go on a bit too long. Cyberlife warehouses. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Drone. Reconstruct. Let's find our route. Are right, we good? Let's try that. Would be too high. We got three different options. Would be spotted. What happens if we do it anyways? I guess you just can't do it. You just why even give these? Never mind. It's David. Of course, he just does it for the hell of it. Freezing time. We're like pre. We're like doing all this in our head to figure out our path, of what we're gonna do. We're we're an android, remember? Uh, sure. Why not do that? Good job, Marcus. Robot Creed. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. The crates. Oh, wrong way. We're gonna find something really special in one of these crates.
Wow, that's a really big crate for a few IV bags. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh. Grab him and grab him and hide. John! I need your help. John! Oh. Someone left a knife. First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Uh, we convinced him, didn't we? Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That easy, huh? Maybe they maybe they should have smaller containers for like three IV bags. Check the bigger crate. That one over there. Can we like to talk to anyone? We have the magic touch. Game is one long sin. Uh, you have a point. What MacGuffin is inside, I wonder? Oh, more androids. Why we found three I Nolan Norths. Don't you want to be free? Free them. You could join us. Here's Nathan Drake from uh, Uncharted 1. Wait, it's that easy to free other robots? Just do one thing? Pick up the touch. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Drop. Take me with you. Him too? He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. Accept. We'll accept. They come with us. I don't care if North didn't like that. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on taking a risk. That's a that's a a act, make key. actual progress. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. There's a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Uh, get the key. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Maybe we should just leave our bags and have them go do, go home and we'll get the key. Where'd the Nola Norths go? Where'd Northmod go? There were like three of them, I don't see them in the group. Alright, still an electronic key, find the key over that way. 
Wouldn't it be pretty easy for the guy who just joined our party to go get this key for us since he still technically works here? Oh, Let's not go in front of those guys. It went on to become Nathan Drake's. That's the key we need. Oh, stay away from that. Got three different ways of dealing with the guards. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah. I was gonna take my Ooh. kids camping. Run the guards? So much for that. We can grab a gun. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Could be other options though, besides just stealing a gun. Here than out patrolling that. Cause a blackout. Oh! Could be something else. I think I'm causing a blackout. Then I could sneak in and get the key without them noticing. The dogs that are playing the other one, they can cause a distraction. Let's cause a blackout. How do I. I create the short circuit though. Lure the guards outside. That actually sounds a bit better. You want me to threaten them? Mm, I don't know. We can always come back and see what happens later when we do different things. Wait, what was that? Auto rocket? Oh, short circuit. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm, I think I end up short circuiting. But then again, I using the gun might create more drama. And I, that's kind of better for me. Take the gun. All right, we'll try it. Because the other two just don't really do much. Oh! Oh! Shit! Ah. Oh. They're they're well trained, but. Tackle them! <clears throat> Shake the control! Shake the control! <clears throat> Motion controls suck so much! <clears throat> these control these motion controls suck so hard! I won regardless, despite spelling nearly every single one of those. I felt almost all of those and it still passed me. Well, we're a murderer now. I tried analog stick and the motion controls at the same time, guys. Trust me, it was not working very well. Did you get it? We we're not going to get our silent assassin rating on this one. Nice. Get inside the truck. Is 
poor kids. Uh, maybe they're not poor kids. Maybe they're rich kids. Maybe security guards get paid a lot here. Technically, Marcus right. doesn't have plot get armor. In. All the characters can die in this game. Actually, you have to steer any of this? No, it doesn't automatically. That's right. They can't. Let, they can't let me through. Winter bits. I want to buy the rights to Snow Day. Ah, uh, well, the game has to be made first before you can buy the rights to it. It's not worth anything at this point in time. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio-components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. That's right. Who the man? I came to Jericho because... Here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. Fight starts now. Resistance. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Well, I'll afford it better. Apes together strong. Oh, uh, don't notice that. That's my blood. It's red now. Okay. Not connect to the server. N oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, let's see where that. That was all the stuff up until John became guard searches for secure. There's something that you can do there. Well, I, I guess there's a choice you make there and does something else, and it just like bypasses all of that stuff. Hold position. They all kind of resume the search, and you get that stuff. And mention the key, and you accept it, and then it starts branching off depending on how you deal with the guards. I end up killing the guards. Marcus spills blood. And these options are if you don't kill them. Neat. Alright guys, it's time. Here's David Cage's favorite type of scene in a video game. Oh, Close your blinds. Playing with a drill inside my skull. Turn, if you got parents in the house, turn some music on. Sure, this is the place. It's the address in the report. Time for pitying the sex bots. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. All right, let me start a new recording real quick. All right, David, impress us. Why is there a cop acting Sexiest as a bouncer over this place? In town. 
I don't know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, wait, this is a police scene. There's not going to be any naked ladies here, is there? It's already a crime scene. I, uh, oh, shit, we've just got our hopes up or nothing. There's not going to be anything here. Welcome to uh, except for the this this part. Oh, he's got the pouty face down. She looks like a Ridge Racer girl. Connor! What the hey. fuck are you doing? Hey, don't kink Come shame in, me. Lieutenant. Don't kink shame me! Checking out the merchandise. They all wear sports bras. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you out. Oh, hey, hey. Really? You have robotic android strippers and they still keep their clothes on? Even during a crime scene? The future sucks. This is a really crappy sex den. Where's my carnal den of avarice? So sad. So terrible. Plastic. So disappointed, David. What the fuck are you doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? I'm like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh... <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> this is an 18 plus Chuck E. Cheese. Well, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Yeah, it's a brothel. That's worse than a strip club, Slide Dante. And they said, so they still, they have still have them on poles dancing. When you have people on poles dancing, nudity is generally involved. Yes. Alright, so, sexy dead android, unsexy dead fat dude. Choose your fantasy. Diagnose. No. Oh, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Nope. That's just how I am. Jeez. Always shaming me, dude. Always shaming. Critically damaged, bio component critically damaged. Driver's license says Michael Graham. Credit card, cash in the wallet. Picture of his wife and two daughters. Oh, the bastard. Well, I wouldn't want to make that call. <laughs> cardiac arrest. He literally had a heart attack. No sign of cardiac event, heart attack. No, maybe not. It wasn't a heart attack. Severe bruising. Oh, he asphyxiated. No kink shaming, remember. Maybe he's into that. How can we possibly reconstruct from just that? Victim was strangled. Some people like that. It's close to the porn we're as we're getting in this game, isn't it? The guard I killed was two days from retirement. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. Yeah, but you're supposed to have a safe we're word. something here. Think you can read the android's memory? I just want to point out see what that the, in this room for sex, I can try. the toilet is right there without anything in the way blocking your sight. Not a lot of privacy in this in this room. 
I guess it's there for kinks, but would not get a very good uh, rating from me on Yelp. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Hmm. I have a built-in scat and water sports uh, place for the kink. Built-in, it's built for kinks of water sports and scat. I wouldn't want to be the one cleaning it up. Explain. You were damaged and I reacted to you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Yes. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model? What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> hmm. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside. Yeah, it's always like still in the crime office. scene. It might still be here. The android is always still if on the you crime could find scene. Find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit! It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. So let me know if you think of anything. For the, I just want to point out that was that was as close as we're probably going to get in this game to D David Cage's ideal woman Did you know the of a short-haired woman in her underwear well, in a maybe two, three fancy times. looking Many environment. Guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Weren't you in heavy rain? Had trouble with androids before. No way. No. Once we lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. But they've not given that. That android a better dancing program? Probably don't have any CCTV. <laughs> I know I have android vision. I'm listening to these two talk. There's no way. That's what people appreciate about Eden Club. Discretion. It's Paco. You can come and go without a trace. Sure, sure. Yeah, business is booming, right? Yeah. Can't go. Yeah, I don't guess they're going to say anything interesting. The thing about androids is they're up for whatever you want. You won't get any diseases, and uh, they won't tell anyone. So why not go wild? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah the more I learn about people, the more I love my dog. You tell him, Hank. <laughs> it's Paco's son. That club manager's a pain in the ass. Chew my ear off for half an hour so you don't revoke his license. Ah. They kind of like so looked at this one here? right after the cutscene ended, sure so it's kind of like being very obvious. Android. Another android? Yeah. Well, that's what Connor says. Yeah, I have a terrible fucking headache. Do you have any painkillers? Oh, with me, Hank. Sorry. Please try again. Oh, we need we need Hank to do this for us. Let's get Hank. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Need you to buy something for me, Hank. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Buy me a lab dance, Hank. Hello. A 30-minute 
That's really cheap. $29.99? This is not going to look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Well, what do you what did you think? A probe? Oh, that's a loaded statement in this situation. All right, let's. I'm nervous. This is my first time. Uh, uh I totally make flying it right now. Uh, can we hold hands first? Just hold hands. Come on. We, I want to get to know you. Maybe you can tell me about your mother. Any brothers back home? Uh, uh, uh. We, we have a old, we have a bad case of hover hand. Uh, uh, I never touched a girl before. Uh, oh. Oh, this is what sex is like, right? What the hell are you doing? All right. Okay, she saw the one that came out. She wasn't the one who actually did it. Blue-haired... Blue-haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. So we need the blue-haired girl. We need the anime chick. What's wrong with me? I'm an entertainer and I'm trying to scream and you know make people laugh. That's what's wrong with me. Plus, they obviously wanted that joke to happen like that. Why else would you put the word probe you there? saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Wait, what? Uh, don't, don't, isn't that all we need? We know who it is. It's Blue Hair Tracy. So, we want to pick from one of these other two. These other three. So, it came out of that door, so it wouldn't be any of them past this. I'm guessing we'd want to go for that one or that one. I have three minutes too. I'm guessing we go with the dancer. What am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mom. Let's try this one. It's better be working. Oh, this that's that's gross and sickening. Whoa. Oh, there she is. Turn back into the club. Okay, so it went back that way. I'm actually interested in what else. This is bringing me back to my college days. All right, maybe the male stripper. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. All right, so it went back this way. Then go for it. There, in. So I'm thinking one of these three here, Paul. Probably saw it somewhere. So, there's only three rooms it could have went in, actually. So, which would be the best one to ask? That one seems like it would have the best angle of all three areas. Droids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with the right, air? I know which direction. There, there she is. We're spending all of Hank's money. It turned to the red room. We're holding so many hands tonight. Okay, so. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we ask in here. Because they all would. Probably the, the pole dancer, though. I'm crazy? Uh, possibly. I'm guessing the pole dancer might have seen which door it went into. Hey, big dude. Hey, stud. We need your help.
Your moves are too... Okay, it's not that one. You didn't see... Okay, maybe one of these two. Anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. This is just guesswork at this point. There she is. Turn into the blue room. Okay. How much time do we have left? Two minutes. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> stupid. Okay, so... Maybe one of these two might have seen where it would have went, since they have a clearer view of the entire room. Also, no, it might be that guy, actually. I'm thinking that guy. He's all by himself. Thank you for focusing on that dude's package. Again. I'm beginning to spec this place caters a more female, you know, there's more male android sex bots than female. Not this one either. Wait. Nope. Let's cover one of the girls in. No. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. How did, the, how did none of them see it? There she is. It hid in her room. Yeah, this is more of a gay a gay club than anything else. But there's there's way more dudes here than ladies. Alright, we found it. Hid in the room. Left the room. God damn it. So someone saw. It. Okay, maybe it went over here. Maybe the janitor saw it. I've asked everyone else. There she is. Why is she just walking through all these rooms? It fled through the staff door. Guys, you don't need to give me ch hints unless I ask for it directly. It's not that difficult to figure out. I'm just kind of playing it up a little bit to make it more intense. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm spending hundreds of dollars and not getting laid. Wait. I'll take it from here. Holy shit, we're at 174 viewers right now. Thank you guys. Shit! We're too late! Okay. Find the blue haired deviant. Blue blood droplets. Search for the... Alright, we follow the blood trail. She came down the stairs, walked over this way. Looks like she's... She might be hiding in that group. Or she might have gotten into a casket. Phew. There she is. Oh, oh. She changed her, her hair. 
Oh, there's multiple ones. We have a harem going on. Hot. Okay, these are too fast for me to... Oh, come on, game. These are... These suck. These suck so hard. Why do this why do these not work? Ever. This is starting to look like a Pornhub video. When that man broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I Yeah, the QGEs in this game start for fights or bad. I'm not even joking. They're almost impossible at times. Moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Made me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. We'll let them go? They're not bad, they're not... Spare, come on. Plus, they showed me their ass. No, I'm not even serious. The motion controls for fights are terrible. It's probably better this way. Ink like that? I am using the analog stick, and I'm throwing the controller left and right, just to be sure I'm getting one of the two. Trust me guys, when I see the thing, I'm pushing analog sticks, throwing the controller all over the place. They're still terrible, and you miss half of them. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to really matter. Alright, so... I guess you could screw up finding an android witness and miss something. And you... Yeah, you just leave, I guess, without going into the, the warehouse. And I guess you could possibly not find the blue-haired android in time. Yeah, we lost the fight. And then, of course, killing the deviants. I was pressing the analog stick, guys. I know what my thumbs were doing during that fight, trust me. And also, those the buttons were like, you have like a millisecond to press them before you fail them. It's terrible. I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's my final word on it. They're terrible. All right, thank you for the 100 bits, Jackie. How does they remember her lover if their memories are wiped every two hours? Excellent question. In fact, I'll write that down because that's probably a sin, actually, that they didn't realize when they wrote it. Yeah, guys, I know what my thumbs were fucking doing when I was playing the game. I was pressing the analog sticks left and right when it told me to. I know how to do quick time events. Done them plenty of other times. You just write some notes down. Thank you guys for the bits, though. Yeah, I'm getting backseat gamed a lot during this, strangely. It's, it's a very linear game, guys. Try, try to keep this in your mind. The more you backseat game, the more I'm likely to not do it. I'll, I'll probably just like do something to spite you.
Well, I don't necessarily need the best ending. There's lots of choices to make, but it's still technically a linear game. Uh, destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Well, by linear, I mean the gameplay is just a set of scenes you go through. There's not really much, <coughs> much exploration, like, say, say, like, Far Cry. There's different ways things can turn out, but you're still going down a very linear path. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if it's, it's like a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Is it snowing now? How's it... How's it snowing? Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. What, what is with the weather? Uh, what? It's pouring this rain. Look good. And not really that cold. They're not in Canada yet. They're still talking about Stay crossing silence. the border. I guess if yeah, it's fall, so it could snow. But they they've been focusing on rain, and it was raining just a few hours ago. And they just no, oh, it's a blizzard now. Fahrenheit time, guys. What are we doing, anyways? Ugh. You live three hours from Canada, and that shit goes from snow to rain fast. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. I must won't make it. I have to find somewhere to spend the night. You know where we can stay around here, Carol. Find shelter. I'm guessing I can go over there. No, there's literally a sign with an arrow pointing this way. Good game design. Just put a sign down. Pirate's Cove. We're getting a horror level again, right? We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Creepy abandoned music part time. David Looks Cage like you've is been an artist. For a while. All right, we got a map. You are here, map, and he's carrying her. We're here. Not really sure what we're looking for, though. But it's really just a loop, so can't really get lost. Doesn't put her. Well, she's a robot. She doesn't really feel the cold. At least I don't think she does. She did put on clothes for it. Uh, the little girl has her hood on, or something on, didn't she? In the cutscene? Find the 
anything? We are no longer allowed no. to give you hard times. No, no please, spend the night. The no, you're, you're allowed to give me hard times. It's especially so when I deserve it. It's just everyone was backseat gaming like crazy in the last section. Because apparently they wanted to see something very specific. I want to be big. Danger always comes when least expected. Well, wow. you're not hearing a shaggy voice. I haven't done a shaggy. Run, row, scoop. I don't know, scoop. To Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have this is a whale jump scare of a time. right? Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Well, Zoic Scoop. This feels like a Fallout level. We're here. Wow, that was okay. So you just keep moving, I guess. Is it this a scene? I've never seen AI, artificial intelligence, so I don't know if it is or not. This is Discount Nuka World. Even is that? Fred is this the best to be a character. Apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Fred is the best. Uh, Fred was the worst Scooby Doo character. What are you talking about? He's like, I'm just going to. He's not even memorable. That's how bad he is. I can't even think of what he's like. He's the blonde dude with an ascot. That's all he had going for him. And he was supposedly like the the leader of the team, but he was. Let's just say he was no Leonardo, okay? Okay, that looks like a place we can hide out. There's a lot more to explore, too. No, I will not take it back. Okay, that's one place we can go. Let's see what else there is. Found an abandoned store. Oh, my kingdom for a sprint button. David Cage really does not like sprint buttons, I've noticed. Take it back or you're going to leave a bad Yelp review. Fortunately for me, YouTube and Twitch channels don't really have Yelp, Yelp status. Okay, no, we don't get to explore anymore. David wants us to sleep in the abandoned store. Sure, I'll take a bag of barbecue chips if you're if you're if you're paying. Allow me. I'll handle this. your favorite character you mean in this game? Uh, probably uh, 
Connor? USS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic ice. Where is where where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. USS Iowa, destroy your class submarine. The USS Iowa has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that Russians are now behind it. Russian aggression has reached a new level. America must respond. I swear to God, this is another game that ends in a World War III scenario. I'm gonna be pissed. Kremlin has yet to release any statement beyond the I'll blanket. I'll make the fire here. Security. That way we won't be smoked out. Alright. Make a bed for Alice. Check Luther's bag. Restaurant. Did our tourism board pay for this game? I'm starting to think so. No, it's just because you know, in the you know, back in the days of the slave, the slave trade, the, the slavery in the U.S., Canada is where slaves would escape to, and that's exactly the only reason David Cage is writing it up like this. And we're literally going to the Underground Railroad. That's what we're planning to do to get out of the country with these two. R A nine. Pirate count. Uh, I was gonna say tattoo, but no, that's a pillow. make her bed at right there Alice she was right there oh okay she's a sneaky one where's Luther's bag at Check the gun. That is a really noisy gun. It's like it's falling apart. So that's a obvious, you know, example of a Chekhov's gun that I've ever seen. Like, no, nah, I just saw a gun in the bag. Now the black guy's still here. His name is Luther, by the way. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Uh, sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. we're together, that's all that matters. Come on, let's get you to bed. Tuck Allison. Uh, console. Are we sure? Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. Three of them are David Cage. For you. Princess. This is a story about a princess who No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Uh, alone. Who 
lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but Shadow. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then Let's give this kid some issues. She met a robot. Obedient. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. Uh, a better life. To try to find a better life. Doesn't sound that made they up, you know. encountered great dangers along the way, but... Together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... David Cage, this is going on a long time. Uh, a giant. A gentle giant. And it's nowhere near as deep as you think it is. We promise to protect them. How does the story end? Uh, give me a couple more hours. They reach the place they dream of. They get to Canada. That's it, the end. Stories always have happy endings. They go party in Montreal. But real life isn't like that. Way to bring it down, kid. It's a bedtime story. Time to sleep. You want realism? You want realism? Go read Tolstoy. Tolstoy, not Toy Story. It's a hard word to say. Say good night, Luther. Yes. What do I think of the game? It's a David Cage yes, game. Of course. So it's kind of a, it's something that kind of has to be a guilty pleasure for you. No, I was saying Tolstoy. You know, the Russian author of you know the Russian author. But my accent, Night for some hours. reason, said Toy Story. Sleep tight. Up to Luther. However you pronounce his name. He, he wrote... He wrote, you know, the war... The really thick-ass book... On war. She's very brave. R... Have you ever heard of RA-9? RA-9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Wow. Sounds a lot like bullshit. What if RA-9 never comes? I think you don't have for the bits. It's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going. Yeah, all right, David Cage is not no subtly. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What? No. What do you mean? Oh, that's strange. Wait, we got zombies? Fuck, <laughs> that's random as hell. Gun, 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 gun. Shoot in the air. Stop! One more step and I'll shoot! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jared. We just broke through the fucking we wall because we wanted to say hello. Closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. This universe is Rick Sanchez. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, 
I don't think she's in the... Well, she should follow us, then. It's freezing cold outside. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. Yeah, let, let, let's let the child freeze. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Gara! All right. Oh, you got my chips? Sweet. Hopefully they're red hots. Be our guest! Be our guest, be our guest. See what works? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! Uh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. You think David Cage got around to playing The Last of Us? Oh yeah, he definitely played that. He's like, it is good, but not master of emotions good, like David Cage. Seeing this video, that cannot happen. That can never happen. I would lose all my subs. That is a creepy ass looking. Look at that thing. Like, do you want to ride on the seahorse or the freaking death slug? Or fish. Nightmare fish. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Thank you for the 100 bits, uh, Jackie. Do you have food delivery service in my area? No, I do not. I, li I live in much too rural of an area for that to ever happen. No Uber Eats around this place. I wish, though. Okay, that was a pretty linear one. I guess there was something we could have done inside the car. Other than that, there was only one thing in the tavern we didn't do. Okay. Next. What time am I playing until? Till probably a little under 1130, 1145. So we still got some time. Art is a lie. Uh, it depends on who is the one making the art. I'm beginning to wonder when these characters are finally going to meet up. It seems like the game is making it very difficult. I'm wondering actually if they ever meet up at all. And maybe they just ha each have their own little storyline set in this world. Thank you, Neptune. Yeah, Connor did meet Kara briefly, but that's, so far, that's it. A brief with Hank. Yeah, David Cage likes to wait until the very end, just like he did with Heavy Rain before all the characters meet up. What happened to the Man of the Century, the mystery, mysterious Mr. Komsky? Mysterious Mr. Komsky, whatever happened to the man of the century? In 2028, Elijah Komsky was our man of the century. 100 bits from Abiola. We all agree EA Games is awesome, right? Are you okay? That's a strange statement. His creations have transformed our world. Oh, he's the one who invented androids. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, restructure our family life, and alter the balance of society forever. Whether for good or for bad. Shortly after Komsky had disappeared, ousted as CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he created. Komsky's story begins in 2018 when the commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. Uh, thank you for the one bit. Uh, let's see, what was this? Uh, the college graduate bed 
what Lily had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, blue blood and biocomponents. Yeah, on a college salary, huh? Here's a man of the century in 2028, a quarter of the way into the century. Well, the name of this magazine is obviously a play on Time Magazine, and they have their man of the year. So they're just like, oh, man of the century. It's a really stupid thing. You're definitely pointing that out because you can only ever have one. So this business, has, this magazine has to be have a century's worth of issues where they can just do this one article. Mr. Komsky, what happened to the man of the century? After unveiling the first walking working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production of CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world, yet the peak of CyberLife's powers when the company was approaching 500 billion valuation, that's actually, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Rumors emerged that Komsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today sources claim Komsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit. You know, that wouldn't be too hard to find him, if, if you really want to know where he's at then, if he's still in Detroit. Alright, so that guy is important somehow. Well, we know he's important, but whether he shows up in the story, we'll have to wait and see. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question. Before when it's before what? Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Before nothing. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. You didn't like that? It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Did Cage play Until Dawn? No idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Probably. Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Probably the company that made them. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Like a religion. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? You didn't get laid. I spent like Those $200. Two they just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Uh... They can simulate human emotions. I think you don't, they're Mike. machines. And machines don't feel anything. Let's hope there's not a Minecraft Story you, Mode Season 3. I don't want that to happen. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Uh... Neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Uh, the truth. No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But a 
Are you afraid to die, Connor? Uh, I'm not alive. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Did you used to be a main character? Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Yeah, we're in full Blade Runner mode. I need to think. Do the eye test. Do a void comp. Hank left Connor alone. Hank is placated. Photo scene in Russian. Okay, that's the thing. So there really wasn't a lot to do beside the options. I like quick time events and Telltale and skippable cutscenes. Uh, I'm just kind of tired of Telltale for a while. I'm very glad that Wolf Among Us is going to come out in 2019 now. I've, ha I've had my fill of them for a while. Let, let them simmer for a, for a time being. Maybe come up with some new stuff. That's sort of new recording. I've been on this one for quite a while. Okay, so... Let us begin. What well, you would call an anti-gamer. Well, I wouldn't really say that, just because you like Telltale. They're still games, they're just like, story games. Thank you guys for all the bits tonight. Call this game Heavy Snow, 65 bits. So is like everyone in America now just a slave-owning asshole? Is that how we're all being portrayed? Like nearly every person who owns an Android is like, yeah, I'm just gonna be a dick to this thing I own. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control oh, is on the top Joe floor. Thank you for 200 that's bits. Where we need to go. Live in Detroit and Erie, how many landmarks I recognize? Uh, yeah, that's, that should be expected. They have, they have pretty good attention to detail. Oh, we got a fancy new coat. Oh, we are snazzy. Yeah, apparently the whole being we'll addicted to Android is a problem unique to America. Canada is perfectly fine with them. Chance. So we're taking over the news broadcast room. Remember, remember the 5th of December. Treason and plot, and gunpowder, treason and blaring up. For some reason I just thought of, you know, that movie, V for Vendetta. We're breaking into, uh, you know, what was the name of the station again? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, we gotta find reception. Here's reception. Let's just check around real quick, see if there's anything we can do. We can analyze that. Okay, 
that appears to be everything. Let's analyze. Smartwatch. Good model. Supervisor's daughter, child registered at St. Rose School. Does this guy at least have access to all of the, you know, identity files of everyone in the city? How else could he know that from looking at her face? That seems like a lot of power to get just a basic droid. Please tell me you didn't accept the quest for the magic gerbil. What exactly are you referencing there? Did I make a joke about magic gerbils at some point? I'm confused. Blue, I'm missing somewhere. There it is. Okay, death manager. Okay, we got everything we need. Hey, Arcane hey, Calamity, how are you? Speaking? Uh, school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's We're just standing here doing that in front of you. You better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no, alright. Oh. You didn't notice that, huh? I'll be right there. We just mouth those words? That was easy. We just did the Terminator thing where we change our voice. I guess I can go through now. Oh, never accept the quest. Okay. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Where did I get this at? No, I thought that was going to do that. I need your help. Trans, bring her to our side. Fifty for a birthday person above. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Trust you on not taking the gerbil mission. I, I find it hard to believe there's going to be a magic gerbil mission in this game. Here's a low-res GIF. Like, why are we bothering with this? We can just go in around and touch and, and touch every android we pass and bring them to our side. We can have an army by the end of the week. I wonder how he developed this power, he can just turn people to his side. It just, that's just kind of random. Floor. Uh, access the server room. Ugh. Over here. Server room is... where? Server room is down to our right. I probably won't even let me go somewhere else. I'll probably have the red bars pop up. And we have a find a package in the men's room as well. We have the power of domination. We have the power from that of the guy from Shadow of Mordor. We just put our hand on someone like, Obey the Bright Lord! Basically. Did lady just say I heard KFC is hiring? Lady, you're, you seem like you have a better job than that. There's a magazine somewhere? I didn't see it. Okay, it's over there. GI Android, Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. 
Okay. Um, I'd love to, but... President Warren. Okay, it's not Elizabeth Warren. They just want someone to look kind of like Elizabeth Warren. Politics are folks in America. Senators really corrupt. President Warren. Woman in trouble. She looks kind of like Hillary Clinton, actually, now that I see her in the pantsuit. So they basically had put, made a president, Hillary Clinton, but gave her the name Warren. Whew. Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlog... As a... Ex excuse me? After rising to prominence as a vlogger, Warren has no experience in government. Oh, holy God, we have fallen so far from God's grace and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Secretary of State Jake Paul had this to say, I'm lit as fuck, y'all! <laughs> Mired in accusations that she was too close to big business, Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from CyberLife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. Can she still lead the country? That, was, that will be America in five years. In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history whilst facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. Conflict in the Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked with finding a solution. I think we know who Cage voted for. <laughs> oh, they're having fun with that. A vlogger got an elected president. <laughs> I know it's I know that's supposed to seem ridiculous, but it's actually not too far off the bat at this point. We need to find the men's room. Go home, David. You're drunk. This is a very Silicon Valley esque building. I saw a bathroom sign somewhere. He doesn't like it. Well, he sits all of his games in America, so I think he would like it. I think we just went to the ladies' room. I don't see any urinals. Mirror gazing. Let it all soak it all in. Check out the new threads. Oh, what's that? That's one's green. It's in Shadow of the Mordor Colossus. That's a couple of different games there. a gender-neutral restroom. Uh, I guess that makes sense, given the time. Hmm. Oh, oh, I thought that was a totally different character. It's just us in a costume. I thought a security guard had just walked in. The hat threw me. We became Agent 47 just now. Find the utility android.
where's the where's the stuff? Where's the coins we can throw? There's actually going to be a season two of that announced tomorrow, apparently. Uh, will I ever send a Shura's Wrath? I own a Shura's Wrath, so I certainly can send it. It's just there's never been a good time to bring it up. There's always been something else I wanted to do to work on. Convert. I need your help. That's a bit too convenient. You'll give me tip monks. You give, you'll give me tip ten bucks. Will I send Bioshock Infinite? Uh, I might send it eventually. I, to be perfectly honest, I've always avoided sending that because every other game send channel out there has already sent it. So I kind of feel like there's really no new ground to cover. Like there's probably nothing I could mention that wouldn't already be, have been mentioned by someone else. Open the fire escape. Okay, fire escape is obviously not down this way. Be prepared. Yeah, I know there's a lot of. Uh, it's a very uh, button mashy game as well as a game with a lot of cutscene events where you just have to like wiggle your analog sticks and shit. Okay, we got our friend in. Do a crossover vid with Game Carry Network and CinemaSense. You're asking for a lot that I don't have, you know, the ability to do. CinemaSense would never do a crossover Shit. with me, and I don't really know Game Carry Network that well. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, guards away from the door. Hey, you still play poker? Sure, why? Okay, maybe I can mess up with the machine over here. Hell yeah. Does Mike know about this? You refresh and I brought up some random BS in the background. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? No, not the Coke Zero. Game Carry Network steals content? What do you mean? Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, now we do something with the window. Except like I, I don't watch any other games in channels, so whatever you guys have to mention about them, don't expect me to know anything about it. I guess we're climbing out after this. Laser saw. I did not know Game Care Network started out as 12 people who wanted to become like IGN. That's news to me. I knew there was like a group or something, and now it's only just one guy.
Wait, that's just there? That's... So much convenient stuff is happening. Ladies first. Nice ass. When do these androids become trained for all this? I mean, these guys, these things were made for cooking and cleaning. Thank you guys for liking my voice and liking my channel. Who put these lines up? This is way too convenient for anything. Support your team, guys. Rise. This is very dramatic, David. Once again, the scene's going on a bit long. Things are so... Yeah, that David David is not very subtle. He put Rise up at as two Freedom Fighters climb. You gotta expect that from David though. most linear level so far. How much you want to bet is this is going to be a Fahrenheit is going to be given all this? No, I don't think we're... I, Fahrenheit is the one game David Cage... Fahrenheit and Omicron is the two games, actually, that David Cage doesn't seem to want to put into his, like, his Cageverse. It's basically Heavy Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls, and probably this. That's part of the, the you know, the shared universe of Cage. I don't think he was too happy with Fahrenheit, how Fahrenheit and Omicron turned out. Why does every skyscraper in fiction have a floor that's permanently under construction? You know, I've never thought of that, but you're actually very right. There is always like a floor that they break into that's like that. I have the voice of a young Neil deGrasse Tyson. I wouldn't go that far. You guys just hear my voice all the time, so you think it's awesome. To me, it sounds pretty normal. Here's your hair gel. Let's do this. I guess. You only there's no there's only no buttons on that. What were you typing in? Can I dab? Everyone can dab. If you have two arms, you can dab. That's all it takes. I'll see you later, Dynamite. Oh, can these characters stop bumping me around, please? Well, you it goes—it kind of goes without saying. If you don't have a head, there's a lot. Dabbing is the least of your problems at that point. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Ruse. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey! Do yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Go on, guys. What are you doing? Order. This looks like the same two guys I kind of killed before. No, 
Donc il meurt. Nothing else here. Hammer oh, just insisted on following that guy. How come that guy didn't get a, you know, well, I guess they came with the elevator, so they didn't need one. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! You realize they're probably going to stop the broadcast after we hijack it. What are the android operators aside? Should we, should we like Jake Paul? Uh, if he's down your alley, sure, why not? He's not really something I'm interested in. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't shoot! Uh, we're not a murderer, goddammit, we're a machine. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. We didn't pre-record that shit? Stand in front of Josh. Which one of these is Josh? Can I free you guys? No? Okay, whatever. Start the speech. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Don't worry, I have my finger you hovering over the square, circle, and X. Marcus, your face. Remove skin! Sure. Look as creepy as possible. Tell me when you're ready. You look like a right. Marvel villain. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. I just didn't realize he has heterochromia. But something changed. I have a favorite game, Mini. We opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. End of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Segregation. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Well, we... We got... Wow, we're gonna make demands for everything, right? We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Peaceful. I'll see you later, Avioli. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, I believe their cause is very naive after asking for one whole state. Future for humans and androids. That shit ain't gonna fly. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming. Let's go. Security guards can't shoot for shit. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Uh... I'll save Simon. Save Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! Sir, 
sure they the one behind a door will be do. We can't possibly open it. We have become human. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't never mind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Uh, uh, kill. I'm sorry. You understand, right? I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Uh, he wants to live. We have. No, God damn it! I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. Let him go down fighting. Oh! We interrupt our scheduled programming mm. to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids should be pretty easy to track them when they, when they reach the ground, you know. Broadcasting system of local news network channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine chilling list of demands. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this country. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Probably fake news. Man. Exposition News Network was putting in work for this game. Holy God, this one was long. Okay. So, what do we got? Okay, that was just uh, find a way to pass security. Not too big of a deal. Going up that, we did all that. So, you could lock the door. If you didn't lock the door, something would happen. Okay, if you, if you didn't lock the door, I guess someone would come in and stop you. And then maybe you just have to leave the place. And you, you need to ruse or kill those guys, and if you kill them, it branches off up, up that way. Don't shoot the operator, begin calmly, and then you can... That all pretty much leads to this path up here. Uh, yeah, okay. Only real difference is basically who gets left behind or not. I thought it was like a blizzard and like snowy all over the place. And it's like winter. Why is this so green? This weather makes no sense. This is gotta be like in his head, right? This is a robo dream. Maybe it's inside. It's really convincing inside. Let's go hit the button of surprise. That still, we do not know what this does. No spoilers, guys. Just because I'm asking questions to myself or rhetorical questions doesn't mean you should give me answers if there is one.
Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Oh, I have to do all the work, I see. Welcome to the most impractical bridge decor. Well, it looks pretty. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? The Eden Club, uh... I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. We kind of suck at our job, lady. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize we can it's never not that please simple. her. Ever. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Well, yeah, did you see that ass? Couldn't shoot that booty. Why didn't you shoot? Tell the truth. I don't know. I don't know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Confident. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. We technically used an umbrella Something's in the last happening. time as well. When it was raining. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Wow, that's pretty fancy. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. That's my lucky coin, though. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoned their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Let's let them talk. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's Going not Going on open. for a long time. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Alright, now we can see what our objectives are. Listen to the briefing, and something, and then check the rooftop. Hey, Zwicky, how are you? Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. 
Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. Holy crap, we're at 192 viewers right now. What's that? My name is Connor. I think that's a new record, actually. Android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. I guess he will find out that uh, the, guy, the guy that died is still on the roof. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Everyone's an asshole. What a fucking prick. Have I heard about the I'll singing? I'll be nearby. No, I have if you not. Need anything? Just ask. All right. Well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. All right. Let's okay, play the video. Time. We've already seen it, though, technically. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. It's the power of prophecy. Oh, we can analyze the video. Registered as Marcus, gift from Elijah Komsky to Carl Manfred. Wait, 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 wait. Elijah Komsky is a guy who created all the androids. And this and Marcus is actually a gift to that one dude. That's interesting. Heterochromia. Let's look about that. Blue iris. Spare parts. And the ear. Deviant had accomplices. Wow, we can actually see the reflection in his eye. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Like an episode of CSI? Okay. Like the broadcast room. That's where they exited at over here. And that's the bullet holes. I feel like I'm playing actually Fahrenheit now with the, you know, where I'm chasing after the people I just played as. He always licks the blood. I guess the Deviant will still be here. We'll have that line coming up, right? Lieutenant, the Deviant is still here. It's like happening in every single scene. Creepy, so in the chapter you just played. Yeah, that's another thing that David really likes to do, especially in Fahrenheit. Reconstructing the stuff we just played through. Deviants didn't break in. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Hmm.
Maybe he's going to notice him putting his hand on everyone and turning them. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. I'll take, I'll keep that, yeah. I will determine that for myself, thank you. Connor? You remember me? Oh yeah, I saved you at the beginning of the game. I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. I remember you. I could have died on that terrace. Finally, as someone who's not an asshole to us. She saved my life. I was thinking that would pop up at some point. I never thought I'd say this to an android. No, I didn't think that was a throwaway decision. There, that was that was definitely gonna come back, but it's not really a major decision. It appears my metallic card grew three sizes. Bleeding blue. Uh, let's learn about the blue blood. Space tourism is Mars your next holiday. After decades of android designs that were primitive, robox, robotics, and expensive, cyber life revolutionized the industry through an innovation of their CEO and, and visionary Elijah Komsky. Ethereum 310, the chemical name of the blue blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all cyber life androids, circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers bio components, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Yeah, but why would they need that? The rope? Sure, why not? Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on. Where others are used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. As with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential to cyberlife androids, key selling point, how human they seem. That, was, that this wonder chemical, both a power supply and a way of regulating the androids. Train, Yeah, blue blood. Real blood, same thing. They get the blue blood from horseshoe crabs. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Hmm. Suddenly we're playing L.A. Noir. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Guilt. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. This isn't L.A. nor enough. Their faces have to really mush together like, you know, mashed potatoes and cellophane. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! If you give yourself up, 
Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. We got pretty good poker faces. memory. Marcus makes it look very easy. No memory. Torture. You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! Doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh shit! Bio component eight four five one. When do we become this bad boy? Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly sixty three seconds. I could put it back. You just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Well, apparently he is. Oh, fuck me! Oh. Call for help. Hank. Hank. I need help. Uh. Oh. Come on, Hank. Order them to help get the thing. There's not really much I can do here. There's nothing around me whatsoever. The knife in my hand? Oh shit. That camera did not seem to want to turn left. I, my module. Come on, almost there. Stop him, really? It's a deviant! Stop it! Oh shit. Hank, survival. Say thank you. Damn. He went deviant, he went really. Wait, I'm dead. I got bullet holes. Good thing you were here, otherwise, I'd. I think I have to reload this Connor, one. No. Uh, yeah, we're redoing that one. Where are we doing that one? Not losing a character right now. Oh, we, uh, at least we made Hank care. Wait, We've you again. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering... It's Minyu Waifu. Are we friends? 
sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Minyu girl, you are a safe scumming user. Maybe we should check out the roof before we go in there, since that seems like that's kind of like the ending area. Is the game hitting on us? Cage would probably program something like that. He technically had a game once where you were literally a, a living person who gets sucked into a video game world. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Not to do. Okay, Lieutenant. Let me get through this again real quick, guys. We ask that you recognize our dignity, Wish there was a skip. our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Mm-hmm. Check it, check it, check it, check it all. There we go. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. No. Nothing. I'm bad at lying, Pink. Right, let's quickly grab our evidence. Is there to look at bullet holes? Let's hope we don't screw this one up this time. We need to get a gun so we can shoot that guy in the hallway this time. We left, that dude was left with a gun up there, so we might be able to grab his. This is a different room, I think, isn't it? Connor? Oh yeah, we gotta talk to this guy. You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. I remember you. I could have died on that terrace. But you saved my life. thought I'd say this to an android. It's a very expensive PD uniform. Thank you. In the future, lead lighting will be all over your clothes. Could you imagine how annoying that would be? 
Now let's have a look around the more before we go in there to the, the kitchen. And there's just bullet holes all over the place. We can check out here as well. Nothing out this way. All right, let's continue looking around before we go questioning. Oh, what, what was that look for? He snapped his head around to look at this guy. Weird. All right, check the rooftop. And this is not the kitchen, right? I don't want to go in the kitchen yet where those guys. No, I don't want to go in there yet. Yeah, I don't see. Okay, we're gonna go to the rooftop. So there's no. Well, oh, there's something over here. I forgot to mention the blue blood thing from earlier. It might be a reference to medieval belief that nobles. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. The name pretty good much gives it away. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Hmm. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. Uh, no Connor seems to mostly be the only one that can actually die so far in the game. Are we going to interrogate the androids or check the rooftop? Possible accomplice. I feel like in the, the android thing will end this mission, so let's check the let's check the rooftop. Let's see if that guy made it or not. Oh, going to the rooftop also probably ends it as well. Yeah, you're right. So we got a choice of which one we want. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to get revenge on that guy almost killing me before. But this guy is actually more plot point important as well, since we kind of had a moment with him earlier in the game. I kind of want to see this. Uh, I'm conflicted. All right, we'll go. We'll go get revenge for our earlier failure. I can't get a gun. There's no gun unless I can grab one when I'm in the hallway and the guy's running. So I guess maybe I should have looked around more when I got to the hallway and I could have grabbed a gun from someone. Otherwise everyone's just going to die again. Just get this on my thing so I have read it. Try this again. This time, when I get to the hallway, I gotta make sure I look for like a gun from one of the cops I can grab.
What is your function? I am a broadcaster. I think it doesn't really matter how I do this. Whoever I torture at the end is the one is the State your mom. one who is the Model GB deviant. 300. Serial number 336-445-581. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids? Let's get to this recently? as quick as possible. Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant. I already know in this who the room. deviant is. It's the one on the left. I found and out I'm the last time I tried this. Out which it is. Like that guy. You're going to be switched off. See if we can get a reaction. We're gonna out of him. search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Get right to torture. Why should you all be destroyed if only we one? We can't. We gotta go through the options. Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down. Yeah, you saw him like you. look to the side there. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Uh, torture him. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. You like this music? It's pretty good. Are you the deviant? And attack. Shaking that controller. Didn't seem to matter. Hank. Let's do everything. Hank. I need Knife. Get our thorium pump. This time I gotta pay close attention to that hallway. There's gotta be a gun I can grab. It's a deviant! Stop it! Gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun! Nice shot, Connor. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. I respect you, Connor. They kind of hide that gun. It's You have to look way off to the side to find it. Now I'm interested in what happens if you talk to the guy on the roof. Oh, we're gonna find out. He, he apparently lived if you don't do that. He got away. What do these points I'm getting actually do? I think they're like, do extra, like, 
you get like model viewers or something, right? A lot of stuff. Oh, I could have investigated the corridors. I did none of that. <laughs> I missed that entire section. I think I was listening to a cutscene. Well, might have been interesting. I actually started walking on the corridors, but I didn't find anything. Hmm. You looked extensively in the corridors and you only saw a camera. There's two things I missed in the broadcast room. There's apparently an option here when you decide to go either to the rooftop or the, the kitchen. There's a third option where I just I guess you just leave or something. And this is all if you go talk to that guy on the roof. And these are the options how this ends. Wow, there's four other endings besides you me dying. The other ones look more complex actually. True deviant and use rescue cop massacre prevented. There's like I guess you could like die and everyone else could die as well if you don't act quick quick enough. You just like don't do anything and all of you die. Now let's see what the next section is and then we're gonna call it a night. Oh, the corridor stuff is only there if you did if you kill people in the previous incident. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, David Cage has actually put a lot of work into making the choices seem to seemingly matter a lot more than his previous games. It's definitely more than, say, Beyond Two Souls, which actually didn't really have that many choices at all that you can make. Alright guys, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. That was an emotional roller coaster. My eyes are actually kind of blurred out. And not because the depth of field in this game sucks. Okay, so, tomorrow's schedule. Same time, same place, we'll pick up right here. It'll be tomorrow at 9pm Eastern Time, and we'll play some more of this game. I think we're making pretty good progress. If I'm wondering how they repaired the vehicle and got to the farm so sudden, the game has an answer. Shut up. Yeah, I'd imagine so. David Cage uses that just has characters appear wherever he wants. Alright guys, uh, thank you for those who joined me tonight. You guys have an amazing audience. We had like 192 people watching tonight, so apparently people really want to see me stream this game. So thank you for that. So thank you for all those who joined me. Thank you for all those bits and donations tonight. There's a lot of that thrown around. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you to my mod team for being a great group of people and keeping the chat from, you know, backseat gaming me to Fucking death. You guys went a bit overboard with that tonight. Keep that in mind. But uh, I love you all, regardless of that. I will see all of you tomorrow, and I hope to have another great night with you guys. Alright guys, enjoy your rest of your night or morning, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later!